video was taken Tuesday night. It shows that Olguin's family business in flames, a business that took 25 years to build. My dad business is about recycling wood uh, pallets. He sometimes he uses new pallets, but mainly it's recycling wood pallets, and then he send them to the maquiladoras. The fire turned piles of wood into ashes, costing the family thousands of dollars in lost machinery, tools, and material. It was a terrible night. I just, it's like, you remember the, how they wake you up, my aunt being scared and being, Gladys está quemando la casa, go get the kids. It's just pretty traumatizing. Lorenzo Holguin, who owns the business with her husband, told me a mystery couple woke them up that night. Thanks to them, the family was able to get out without injury. The fire was so big that it consumed everything on the business side of the Olguins, but it got really close to hitting this gas tank that's right next to their house. Otherwise, it would have ended up like this hammer. The Olguin ladies tell me Mr. Olguin is a hard worker and will never ask for help. So one of his daughters and granddaughters set up a GoFundMe without telling him. So we made the GoFund yesterday because, as you can see, well, everything burned down. I'm not sure if he knows about it because if he finds out, we might get in trouble because he doesn't, he, he's like, oh no, we got, we got this, we're going to do it. But as you can see, he lost everything. The family has been cleaning what remains of their business from sunrise to sunset since Wednesday. With some reluctance and trying to go under the radar, they're turning to the community for help. If they could just go into the GoFundMe and help us with anything, I mean, like I said, my dad doesn't like to ask for help, but right now he needs it. Emanuel Esparza, ABC7. And if you want to help the Olguin family, we've provided a link to their GoFundMe on this story at KVI.com.